press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss another update. Rama Limited has provided the following information. Depreciation as per accounting records is 2 lakhs. Depreciation as per income tax record is 5 lakhs. Unamortized preliminary expenses as per the tax record is 30,000. There is adequate evidence of future profit sufficiency. How much deferred tax asset or liability should be recognized as a transition adjustment? Tax rate is 50%. Okay. Depreciation as per accounts is 2 lakhs and as per tax is 5 lakhs. So the difference between the two amounts of depreciation is 3 lakhs. Depreciation as per tax is higher. If depreciation as per tax is higher, it will result into lower taxable income. Lower taxable income means I will pay less tax in current year. If you will pay less tax in current year, in future you will be liable to pay more. So on depreciation, we should recognize deferred tax liability. Then they have given you another item of unamortized preliminary expenses. Remember, as per accounting standard 26, preliminary expenses will be debited to the profit and loss account. So I will completely debit it to the p &L. But it seems that as far as tax is considered, you are claiming preliminary expenses over a period of time. Actually, in the Income Tax Act, we have Section 35D. As per Section 35D, you get a deduction of preliminary expenses over a period of 5 years. So, this 30,000 rupees seems to be an unamortized preliminary expenses as per the tax record. In other words, in the current year, you will not get deduction of 30,000. 30,000 will be disallowed in the current year. If 30,000 is disallowed in the current year, your taxable income for the current year will increase. And because the taxable income will increase in current year, you will pay more amount of tax. But you know what? As per section 35D, I will get deduction of 30,000 rupees in the next year or years. And because I will get deduction next year or year, I will save tax. And because I will save tax, I will be paying lesser amount of tax. So what will happen? In the current year, 30,000 is disallowed. So in current year, you pay more amount of tax. But in the next year, you will save tax. This gives rise to a deferred tax asset. If it is a DTA, then on that we should be, uh, uh, sorry, if it is a timing difference which is resulting into a deferred tax asset, then we should be recognizing a DTA. But if it is a DTA, then you have to fulfill the conditions for recognition of DTA. Now, the condition for recognition of DTA is that you should be virtually certain or reasonably certain. Virtually certain, you have to be only when there are two amounts, unabsorbed depreciation or taxation loss. On every other item, you should be reasonably certain. They are themselves saying that there is adequate evidence of future profit sufficiency. So it seems that we are reasonably certain that there shall be sufficient taxable income in future. If you are reasonably certain that there shall be sufficient taxable income in future, you can recognize DTA. So on one item you will recognize DTL, on another item you will recognize DTA. What to do then? As per accounting standard 22, you should now find out the net amount. If the deferred tax liability is higher, we will call it as net DTL. And if the deferred tax asset amount is higher, you should call it as net DTA. So we will work out both and we will present the net amount. Right? Let's complete. Give the end computation of deferred taxes. Computation of deferred taxes. We will say particulars difference nature of 
of difference. And finally, it's a factor. So we say depreciation. Five lakhs and two lakhs is there. It is three lakhs. It is a timing difference. Say DTL one lakh fifty thousand three lakhs into fifty first. Take the difference and multiply that with the tax rate. Preliminary expenses. Thirty thousand, isn't it? It must be zero. I must have debited it entirely to the PNL, but not for tax. Timing. On this, we will recognize DT. Fifty thousand. Detail is there. DT is there. DTL is higher, so it's a net deferred tax liability. Right, this is for tax, this is for account, so I get the difference. As far as preliminary expenses is given, they have not given any figure for account, so I am taking that as zero, and on the basis of that, I am computing the deferred taxes. So when you prepare your balance sheet, you will be showing a net amount of DTL of 1,35,000. Press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss another update.